So I'm going to give you rough basic instructions on how to do this because I think it's going to be easier and make more sense actually seeing the way it is. Uh, the, the, the construction of it's really simple. The, the piece consists of a series of five tracks like this. I'm only showing three of them here uh, just for sake of showing you how they, how they are. Uh, this is the center track or track A. Each one is labeled with a letter. Um, and there's the legend that shows that, we'll, that we include that, that shows what goes where. The first thing to note when you're mounting these tracks is that they're each offset. You can see it's offset each time as they go further back. It's as it is shown on, on the legend. The biggest thing is to make sure that the orientation of each one of these is correct. Make sure that, that as you have them uh, put up that you see the, the tape with the letter of each one facing this way. If that tape is facing the other way, it's backwards and they all need to be facing this way. Uh, so once you have them set up, you're going to want to set up some sort of a, you know, a, a zero line that you can then make measurements off of so that it matches like the legend that we include. Um, then you screw it into your blocking uh, with the, the bolts that, or with the, uh, with the screws that we include. Um, once those are up, then you're ready to put your pieces in. Uh, you'll want to follow the order that we note on the legend on, on which way you want to go. Again, I'm just going to show, just for the ease of showing you this, the center, the center row. Um, the way that these are made, this is your shape that's hanging. Each one has two cables to it uh, that we slide into the channel here. And then you'll see that the channel underneath it has labeled points that correspond to the labels on the cable. Here, let me show this down here. That correspond to the label on these cables and so you basically just need to make sure that you're putting the right one in the right place. Uh, if this tape happens to come off for any reason we've also got a little red dot inside of the channel so you'll know where these points go. Uh, so we're gonna start with with the uh, panel one because that's the first one that goes in the very very back and you want to start with the back and go forward. And so you can see that you've got a cable here with a little uh, stop mechanism here that goes into the channel you might see that as you pick these up, that some of these uh, stops have shifted around like that. Just try to get them centered into place. And then you pretty much just hold it like a barrel and get one of them into the channel there. Get the other one into the channel. It's a pretty, pretty loose fit. And then just kind of pick up on them and slide them back. to the point that corresponds to the point on the label. So here we've got 1.1, 1 .1, goes to 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 .1, goes to 1.2. They're set at the marks, and that one's good to go. You can take off the tape. You can take off the tape underneath there so it's not showing. And then you're ready for your next one. And the next one is panel two. I'll do the same thing I did before. Get that thing set. Get one in. Get the second one. And slide it back. Now as you do the subsequent ones, you'll see that you actually need to be able to get this one up underneath this one. It doesn't rest on top, it rests on the bottom. So as you bring it across, just angle it up so that it falls where you need it to go underneath the part there. And there that one is in and ready. You can see we lined up 2.1 to 2.1, 2.2 to 2.2. And now we're on the third one, the final one on this row. Do everything the same as we just did. And again, angle it up so you can get up underneath it, move it to the point. Put it down. There we go. That one is that row is done. Make sure you take up all the tape. Make sure you tape the take up take the tape off underneath, and that one's ready. 
You can see that once the weight pulls these down, they can't slide anywhere. We've got to take the weight off of them to slide the parts around, so they stay in there pretty, uh, pretty good. And then as you do the subsequent rows, they either taper up or, 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 or down, depending on which, which way you're going, and you'll just have to do the same thing and, and uh, kind of watch the, the edges as you go. But that's how you slide them on there, and then once everything's done, you've got all your points matching up to the corresponding points there. You're done, nothing else you need to do, and you're ready to go.